from Nikki Lily. Now I don't know about you but sometimes I can just not fall asleep no matter what I do or how tired I am I just cannot sleep. So I thought I would show you the things that have helped me to fall asleep and would help some of you guys fall asleep and give you some tips and advice on you know getting to bed and falling asleep a bit quicker. So first I'm going to give you some tips on falling asleep and then I'm going to show you my favourite things to help me fall asleep that are objects. So four tips for falling asleep, you guys probably know this one, but it's not exposing your eyes or yourself to any bright lights like the TV, your phone, you know, stuff like that, like 30 to an hour minutes before you go to bed because then it keeps your brain active and then you can't fall asleep and I always find that happens. The next thing that I found really helped me before I went to bed or like two hours before I went to bed was eating a little tub of nuts. Now I know some of you guys won't be able to do this because you might be nut allergic or not like nuts but if you cannot eat nuts then I would also recommend eating dark chocolate. Now you're probably thinking dark chocolate's got sugar in it, it's going to make you have a massive sugar high. But actually, dark chocolate's actually quite good for you. It's milk chocolate and white chocolate that are not very good for you. And what dark chocolate does is it's kind of like a brain superfood, so it basically helps your brain relax, is drinking some herbal tea. Now, some of you guys may not like herbal tea. If you don't, then just drinking a glass of hot water maybe, or just drinking a glass of water or just something like that just to you know clear out your system detox you before you go to bed and just relax you I really love the pucker teas I really like this one for before I go to bed which is their nighttime tea which has organic oat flour lavender and lime flour now I really like anything with lavender in it especially for before you go to bed because lavender is so calming and it's the most lovely scent so I really love this and I have about one of these every day before I go to bed or when I'm feeling a bit restless and I need something to kind of relax me. So I love these teas. Another tip I would definitely recommend is do not eat two hours before you go to bed. I know this is sometimes a hard one because you've got to kind of, you know, eat when your mum or dad has cooked the dinner and you might need to go to bed straight after that. But try and, you know, plan out the times where you eat your breakfast, lunch and dinner that kind of suits your digestive system and when you're hungry because that's you know the best thing to do and especially if you're eating carbohydrates for dinner you definitely do need to eat them two hours before bed because they take a long time to digest and break down in your system. Now the last two tips I would recommend the first one is to sleep with a comfort whether that's a cuddly toy, a cushion, a blanket of yours that always makes you feel nice and cosy and right at home but mine is this heart pillow which I got from Primark but I really really love it it's just so cosy and it always makes me drift off to bed so I really love this and yeah it's just a great cozy pillow. Now the last tip I would recommend is to read a book instead of looking at your phone or computer because I don't know what it is with reading books but whenever I read a book I literally can feel my eyes closing and me falling to sleep and it's really weird but I guess it's just because you're like staring at pages and your mind's not being super active or getting exposed to really bright lights or really bright screens and the book that I'm currently reading is a book by John Green called An Abundance of Catherine. This is a great book and I'm really liking it so yeah I just recommend a book to read before you go to bed. Okay, on to the objects that I love using for falling asleep. So the first one I love is so good. It's by Raydox. It's so inexpensive and it's just their Sleep Easy Bath Soak. This is so great. It's got 
jasmine and chamomile in it it's just really really great because you know it's not something that will just make you drift off to sleep or even make you feel that tired but it's just a really nice relaxing thing to use whether it's because you want to feel more relaxed before you go to bed or whether it's because you've had a really stressful day i just I just pour this into my bath whilst the tap is running and it's just so great and I've used a lot of it and it's just a really great inexpensive product. Those candles are the best thing. I especially love this one from Sainsbury's. I know you're going to be thinking, huh, Sainsbury's? But it's such a great candle. I love the packaging and it was like £2 but it's got such a nice clean but relaxing scent and it's just a really lovely package package packaged and scented candle so i love this now on to the last thing i would say which is probably the most helpful for me and it is listening to music you wouldn't think it because you think it keep your mind active but it's actually really great i put my headphones on put my spotify playlist on and just listen to music with my eyes closed and usually fall asleep with my headphones on whilst listening to music and my mum or dad has to, you know, switch my phone off and take my headphones off my head. But really, music is not only good to help you fall asleep, but it's really good for your emotional welfare. And I just really love music and I've really been loving the Mumford & Sons album recently. So yeah, just any music that's kind of somewhat relaxing, listen to because it's so great. So I hope you like this video everyone and it was fun to, you know, have some tips on falling asleep. I was kind of contemplating doing this video because I didn't know if it'd get any views and it might not get any views because it's kind of a funny video to do. But you know, this is a real thing that a lot of people in our generation suffer with so I thought I would give you my tips that really help me fall asleep. They aren't you know going to make you fall asleep like this but they do help me relax and you know feel a bit more sleepy so yeah if you like this video don't forget to click the like button down below and if you would like to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe down below as well or up here or up here I always forget where it is and I will see you in my next video everyone. Bye!